Welcome to another feature. We are doing a pretty low key feature here. We're actually fixing one of Wade's cars, but I want to show you his collection of stuff because it is damn cool. This is Wade. What's up? Now we've known each other for quite a few years. Um, he's very big into the VIP stuff. I actually bought an old UCF 11 off him ages ago. Really cool. Always had some really, really cool cars. So let's go have a quick walk around. Check him out. Wade, you've had the Crown Majesta for what, just over a year now? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah. I've just got the Wedge Cranes on them, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, just recently, yeah. What yeah. did it have on before the Wedge Cranes? Um, uh, they were just from Aussie Tyres, just some uh, Art Chinese crap. But, uh, okay. Because I, I couldn't find these in a 20 inch. Now you have a long history with the Wedge Cranes on like pretty much all your cars. You had an FD yeah. RX-7. Yeah, you got on your arm too. <laughs> That's right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, look, it's uh, your favourite wheel. They're probably a bit old school now and Probably 20 years old now. I was gonna say, they're probably like a 2000s wheel, aren't they? Yeah. Which technically is kind of period correct for this kind of car. But like, what year models the, the Crown? Uh, 09. 09, okay. Yeah, uh, I drove down to northern New South Wales to get some, so. That's yeah. sweet. I, I found them on Facebook on a Friday night. I, I was down there by 10 o'clock Saturday. Uh, I had to grab them. So, sweet. Yeah. Gotta do what you gotta do for the right wheels. Very cool, 10 interior. Can you see where this is going? <laughs> These come out with factory bags? Yes, a factory Sweet. slow bags. Uh, the ride quality is awesome, but uh, yeah, they're pretty slow. So I think it took me two months to put aftermarket bags in and I uh, yeah, managed to do it pretty much by myself. The guy I bought the kit off, we did it in, he shared it in a day. Uh, yeah, rad dude. Uh, yeah, uh, I sold me the kit and then it was like all I ever wanted was a crown on bags and then I had a crown on bags and he was spilling. <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> Have you tripped anyone out of the set of lights? Like, any, any like normies? Like, what the hell? Yeah, look, uh, uh, I tried you seemed to like it. <laughs> you know, I, I, I was uh, a bumper to bumper yesterday coming home, and uh, there was a guy in a light truck, um, and I'm uh, I'm bouncing the thing like a dickhead, <laughs> and he's uh, on his brakes, like trying to bounce the truck as well. <laughs> that was cool. That's a limo package in here. I, I believe it's the highest spec, so it's got, uh, yeah, all the. Just so you can move the uh, passenger seat way forward. Because then you just chuck out your footrest. <laughs> That's so crazy they have something like that in this. 
Now, cool things, if you guys don't know too much about crowns, these things are luxury 101. They have like almost everything. I think half the time the, the front seats are massaged, heated, all that. The rears, I think, are heated as well, and aren't cooled. they? And cooled. And yeah. cooled? They've got cooling? Yeah. Holy crap, yeah. aircon seats, what? Yeah. We've got footrests that come up and down. We've got little courtesy lights that let us in and out. We've got beautiful little like... And we have rubbish on the floor. Door sills here. There's an air con vent down here. This is like a cinema, man. It's it's more it's more like I'm gonna go watch and Avatar. Running lights on the side. Yep. Adjustable vents and stuff. Sweet. Our refrigeration. Well, it's a it's a cool box. It's cool an box. air conditioned box. I think Crowns have been having the uh, the fridges in the back or the back parcel rack here for like years now, like 20, 30, 40 years. Um. So it's got front and rear aircon, so you can have either one on or both. And I, the driver can also control it from the front. That's right, they've made it so it's like, yes, you can use it as a family car, but it's also perfectly acceptable to use this as just like a really cool VIP kind of well, out car. Every time I open the door, I'm like, yeah, this car's way too good for me. Have you, <laughs> have you ever thought of doing Uber with this or they won't let you because it's over five years old? Um, well, I have, but people are disgusting. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> do formals and stuff? I'll, I'll do it, yeah. <laughs> I'll do it. Birthday parties, weddings. Yeah. These would actually be a really freaking cool wedding car. Oh, this is so comfy. We, we just stay here for the rest of the time. Look <laughs> at this uh, foot room. You, uh, can recline it. Wow, I'm, I'm going backwards. Yeah. It literally is like I'm in a cinema. Dude, this is like... Imagine road Headrest. tripping. The yeah. headrest is moving? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, when I first got it, uh, our buddy Luke, uh, our Luke Fink said to me, when uh, are we going to sit in? I'm like, the moment I get a tow bar. Yeah, yeah. And we'll take the race car down. Hell yeah. No, this would be like the comfortablest road trip to Sydney ever. Stay here. Let's, let's continue with this feature. We'll show you guys some more stuff. I really love these door sills, eh? They look so cool. Are they factory Majesta ones or are yeah, they? I'm touching. I'm touching. So they come like this? Yep. So damn cool. Uh, you probably should get the doors closing too. They do the automatic soft close thing. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I love it. So, um, I think some of the vans do it, like Taragos and stuff. So, you like, if you don't close the door properly. There you go. I'll try and get it to do it again. Did it do it? Oh, it did do it. <laughs> it like senses when you leave it open. Oh, that's so cool. But yeah, this is the Majesta. Very cool setup. Beautiful daily. It'd be a really cool work car too. These things are so underrated. I honestly don't know why people buy Camrys or Orions when they can buy these. Like if you want a family car, four door, something with style, all the like optionals that you could ever possibly think of. And a bit of power and they sound nice, they look beautiful the sizing difference between these two it's great <laughs> I think I think the crown's slightly lower now that you've like sacked it I think so too. yeah no definitely <laughs> so you've literally you've got your Majesta lower than a K car uh, all right so let's do some limbo then limbo oh no I'd lose I'd totally <laughs> all right so not only do we have a very very cool crown Majesta but Wade is a pretty avid car enthusiast himself. So we have this thing, which I don't even know what it is yet, but it looks like something out of Mad Max. Sigma. Okay. It's a Sigma? Sigma. <laughs> it's an 84 Mitsubishi Sigma. Well, the only thing left that's factory Mitsubishi is probably the roof. <laughs> Everything else is fiberglass or, or, or cage. What was it powered by? It's an Astron engine, so... Uh, Astron? Astron? Astron. Uh, it's a Mitsubishi Astron engine. Uh, uh, they came 2.6. It's probably closer to 3 litre now. Well, that'd be for a full banger. And it runs on methanol. Um, there's, uh, there's feet under there. Yes. He <laughs> is now my mechanic. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is my... Uh, yeah, my pride and joy. I, um, I, I like a bit of speedway. Uh, also a bit of drifting, but... Uh, yeah, the dirt is where it's at for me. That's or, awesome. Or the clay, I should say. <laughs> She's uh, a little tucked in there. It's hidden away, hidden treasure. 
old business in there. And there's probably still some mud in there from Gimby. <laughs> yep, sure is. <laughs> That's right. All right, next to it, we have a uh, rather crazy R33. This is Wade's drift car. Wait, that means you're eligible to, eligible to join the Yacht Club. Was that supposed to make sense? No, that's... All, that's all I heard was... It's not English. <laughs> you've got a in their mouth. <laughs> well, you probably have to edit that out. That's yeah, what that happens like when you have a skyline. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so ben, Benjamin started something called the uh, Brisbane Boat Club about 10 years ago. Right. But right. he's restarted it and has just asked if you like to join the Yacht Club. I don't see why not. <laughs> it's called the Global Yacht Club because I don't want them leaving Brisbane, so I couldn't call it Brisbane Yacht Club okay. like it used to be called. But it's only for people with skylines. Okay. We get to be completely selective and bag <laughs> anyone who hasn't got a skyline. So only cool people. Then. Only cool people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> only real JDM car. <laughs> so um, Ben is currently a mechanic for hire for Wade. Uh, to get his diff back in, because we've just uh, shimmed his diff for him there, so he can use it again as a drift car. Oh, I you think can show him what he did to the first diff. Uh, uh, did you get the um, uh, the driver list? Uh, There's uh, a driver uh, list? Yes. And we're Team Australia. Yep. There was a guy, another guy, a giraffe, and a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that's about, and, that's hilarious. Uh, he came in real ha ha handy for changing light bulbs. Okay. And uh, reaching the top shelf. So who's the giraffe? Uh, he's a mate of mine. Oh, okay. Um, probably won't see this vlog because he's social media illiterate. Okay. And yeah, uh, that's Steve. What he was riding with him. Steve. Steve is the big fluffy dog that you saw earlier. He's currently off somewhere. And uh, we've got this beautiful beast sitting over here. We'll get back to this one as well. Give us a second. So, cool 33. It's two tone, so you got white and black. What's the, uh, why'd you pick 99? Uh, that's my racing number. Yep. Uh, Speedway. Uh, and black and white is is my thing. And to be honest with you, there is 50 million, wait a minute, 55 million R33s, and they're all white. Yep. Uh, so I'm like, I have to be different. And to do that, it cost me two bucks for masking tape and maybe ten bucks in spray paint. We actually just did a endurance event, and yeah, we needed numbers, so. Um, I had that crap lying around. I'm like, it's like rainbowy drift like. So I'm like, yeah, cool. So we did uh, what about uh, 20 hours at Morgan Park, and um, all we broke was the drift. So pretty good going. What was the actual event you were racing? Uh, that was the motor events. Um, yeah, 24 hours of. Morgan Park. Oh, oh, it was awesome. Yeah. I, I don't think I've ever passed so many cars in my life. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get me to <laughs> Do I want to know? I had a pit for fuel, so. <laughs> it's like yeah, it's a bit thirsty, but. Two grand in fuel for a race event. <laughs> yeah, a bit thirsty, but uh, I, when you've got, uh, well, you know, all the berries. Yeah. <laughs> I bought it from a gentleman on the Sunshine Coast. I have changed it, modified it somewhat. Uh, but um, yeah, all, all the credit to him. It, okay. It's been amazing. I, I can't believe me luck. So, uh, yeah, awesome dude. Shout out to the guy that built it. Yeah, I, I forget his name, but. Uh, what's yeah. something? What's something in the uh, car that he would recognise? That he's apart from obviously. Did you do the gold? Yes. Okay, so uh, it's, maybe. It's not, a drift car, if there's no heat wrap <laughs> and wing, which is I don't up. know, is there some wing there. in there? Oh, oh yeah. There's a carbon template there for a wing and. Big wing. Oh, yeah. carbon template for another wing. We got, um, what was I about to look at? Oh, yeah, yeah. There, there we go, more heat shielding. Didn't do a lot to it, just uh, I modified it to what I needed it for. I had a, uh, I retuned at, um, he's going to hate me saying this because he's a rotary guy, but Ben from Rotary Motorsport, thanks mate, um, <laughs> he tuned this and um, yeah, it's somewhere between four and 500 on 
15 psi. So. Ben's good at doing safe tunes as well. Yeah, well, it just did 20 hours with idiots behind the wheel <laughs> on 38 uh, art degree days. Right, so we've got a custom bonnet here that's got uh, some edge lining. Oh, so, yeah, the bunny's bonnet. Yeah, bunny's bonnet. Well, apparently you aren't a drift car unless you have a vented bonnet. <laughs> and I see so many vented bonnets like you go to Friday Night Drift, which is no longer, thanks QR. Uh, there's so many vented bonnets and yeah, they buy the fiberglass in, cut the holes out and pop rivet it on the bonnet. And I'm like, I just want to be a little bit different. Grab the angle grinder and uh, you went to Bunnos and got some aluminium angle and there we go. <laughs> it's a bit 90s, which kind of suits the car. Have you noticed any change in the uh, running temps? Absolutely not. <laughs> not one bit. The uh, only thing is, after an event or when you're parked in the pits a lot of, of the heat gets out so the okay. engines so cooler probably... when you go to start it again oh yeah so that's good would i tell you to go and cut holes in, in your bonnet no no don't be needed just <laughs> i just run it standard it's great <laughs> how are you going back there benjamin having fun yeah. i was waiting yeah, for the no comment <laughs> So, um, I'd much rather be a star, but I don't know if I can add that. Hey, I didn't say anything wrong. That's a legitimate job for people these so days. You'd rather be in the uh, adult industry? That don't seem like the right one. I thought this was an OnlyFans vlog. I'd, it's getting close. You better get naked. No? Yeah, this is OnlyFans? No. I wonder if that gets flagged too. I, thought I, had I don't know. Now, wait, you got to run us before we check out this bike. Yeah. Because I know some of the American crowd are probably frothing over that. Oh, Just, the wall. Yeah, tell us something about the wall. Yeah, the wall. Fine. This is Steve. Steve. First. This is yeah, Steve. Yeah, another, um... This really cool wall here with a whole bunch of cool cars. Some you guys might recognize. We've got Mr. Steve here. Is that, is that Steve's girlfriend? Uh, that's actually Steve's uh, dad. Mum, and that's actually Steve there. Oh, Steve's so cute. You were cute when you were a little boy. Now you're a fluff. You're still cute though. <laughs> I also tried my hand at uh, coloring, coloring in. Uh, yep. I don't think I'm going to do that as a trade. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we'll start with Steve, I suppose. That was him when he was ridiculously small. Uh, we did some mowing for a while. <laughs> uh, the sun was getting to him. Uh, that's the cat. Uh, he's a main coon and he's like 11 kilos. Wow. Uh, yeah, it took Steve to work with me all, all, all the time. So. Oh, Steve and the cat were friends? Oh, yeah, they're best friends. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's his work van. It was all his then. <laughs> Steve owns a work van? Yeah. Oh, that was a photo shoot for. Oh, I forget. Yep. <laughs> oh, that was my first Speedway car. Okay. Another rattle can uh, job there. That's rad. Such a cool history, like a diverse background of cars too. And that is, uh, uh, I regret selling that just about every day. That's beautiful. Just Was it silica, day. like silica breath? No, darker, like a bronze. Uh, it's actually Sepang bronze. Sepang. Sepang, as in the the racetrack. Okay. Sepang no. bronze. Okay. So, oh, is it a town? Sepang? I have no. I know the Sebring. I don't know about Sepang. Ben, have you heard of Sepang? Sorry? Have you heard of something called Sepang? Sepang. Sepang? Sepang. It's, it's like a. I am in Sepang every day. <laughs> uh, anyway, it was bronze. bronze. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's, let's just call it bronze. Uh, yeah, bronze. So it was a series, series five? Series. Series we get, six. We got the crayons again? Uh, yes. Crayons 18 by 10 and a half on the rear, something else on the Because series six were the last ones that came out with the factory sunroofs. And that's why. So I they're got very, it. very rare. Yeah. So that thing went through a, a fire, an engine fire going in the motorway. There was flames and pouring out of the bonnet. Uh, it got written off. I bought it back, rebuilt the whole thing, had it painted, blah, 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 blah. And um, yeah, modified front and rear bars. So they're smooth. Cause yeah, they took out the, um, so they usually have little, little yeah. reflectors here. There's yeah. reflectors over here. Is, uh, the, uh, the RS7 body lines are just so yeah, no, they're beautiful. beautiful. I, I wanted it smoother to match the body lines. So yeah. yeah, that was 
Yeah. And what about this guy? That was probably my car I've owned for the longest, probably close to 10 years. Wow. I probably did two oil changes the whole time I owned it. <laughs> and look, as much as I'm into a JDM, I think you're into a bit of everything going by off this. A good old 250 cross flow in an old Falcon. Yeah, I can't lose. Good fun. And uh, last but not least, we won't tell you too much about this one, but this was Wade's old Celsior that I ended up buying off him. It was freaking cool. It was so cool. It had like, what, 18 by 12 at Veilside Andrews? Yes. A big, and big, oh no, 18 by 13. They yeah, on the rear, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, they were massive wheels. I and see the poke on it. Uh, all the wide body, it wasn't fiberglass, wasn't carbon, wasn't FRP, any of that crap. No. It was metal. Yeah, it was factory metal. You could see that wing on the back there, like the big duck tail. Hundred percent. You could lay on that. Because at a a car show once, I had three pretty women standing on the boot, and they <laughs> stepped back on the wing, and it didn't break. And I'm like, yes, <laughs> uh, yeah, getting a photo shoot done. And but um, yeah, it was all metal, tough as nail. That's awesome. Uh, you have to run us through this black. Yeah, well, if that's. This, uh, this is the newest edition? It is, it is. That's. Uh, yeah, Steve, look. Steve's. Okay, look, there's one thing you don't know about Steve. Steve is like the OG model. He's like the perfect photo shooter dog. As you can see. Didn't even have to prompt him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, so this is. Um, this is. A dream come true. Look, I've always, always wanted a. I custom Harley since I was probably 17 and um, finally had the uh, uh, opportunity to purchase one so it needs some work, it needs paint, it needs a lot of polish which I thought my days of polishing were over but yeah so <laughs> and probably needs a back seat for the dog but yeah maybe a sidecar or something. Yeah sidecar would work. Yeah. I actually look hilarious you had a sidecar. Yeah. As you can tell, Steve's part of the family. Okay, so this is an American imported bike called uh, Iron Horse, you say? Iron Horse, yes, yes. And it's complied here. Therefore, from what I've been told, you shouldn't get too many hassles from the cops. But I've also been told that before. Yeah. Very, very cool bike. I can't even get the whole thing in the frame. Yeah, so, um, I, I want to crawl through that. Would you like to hold this for a second? I want to show these guys how much rake is actually on the front of that thing. Sure. So for us Australian people, this is not, not like a thing. Like, you can't have a bike like this in Australia because you'd get for A, for how low it is, B, because it's too well, too much rake. Yes. Um, if we had the wheel any far, any further off there, we'd probably just get defected. Defected for it being metallic blue in yeah, Australia. Yeah, they, they probably would, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You got some uniqueness. There's oh no, look, the, uh, the skull valve cap. Oh, oh, that's a defect. Oh no, that's a defect. <laughs> but literally, I can't give you an idea of the scale of this without doing this. Check out how much rake is there. <laughs> yeah, oh wow, okay, yeah. That's how crazy is that? Actually not bad, I yeah. It's, so, got, it's got more room in here than it does in my K-car. I was, was going to say, yeah. That's where the bracing for Steve's going to go. <laughs> <laughs> just put like a baby carriage on yeah, the front. Carry around so you can't really sit under it without sitting on it now. Uh, I look weird <laughs> sitting on one of these though. But the cool thing about I this I think is, I'm going to leave that up to your viewers to decide. It is the perfect height, man. I look, my feet are flat. Yeah. I'm so happy. Oh. Hey, Steve, no, you can't. Oh, maybe you hey, can. Steve. Ah! Thing you <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, I'll Steve, get down, get down buddy. <laughs> but um, no, this thing's actually really, really cool. I'm not even into like this kind of style of bike. Like I'm into like the yeah, Japanese sports bikes, like your, G or your GSXRs, etc. Let's just leave it there. Um, but where is this sitting? Like, look at the, like the riding position's nice and comfy. I, I would assume looking at a bike like this that you'd be doing like this. <laughs> but this would actually be so cool to ride. It's kind of like uh, the 240Z where you're sitting on the back wheel and then the whole car is in front. Don't stop and it don't turn, <laughs> but I didn't really buy it to go round corners, <laughs> to go straight, right? Yeah, you bought it look awesome. 
What, what, what made you go blue? Look, it, honestly, <laughs> it's not my colour. Um, I'm going to paint it. Yep. Uh, probably the same colour as my RX-7, if I'm honest. Yeah, like the bronze colour? Bronze. Sepang bronze. Sweet. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, but Spang. Um, <laughs> it was the right price. So we can see what it sounds like. Yeah, the neighbours won't like it, but... We're going to go for a short road trip to go get a, what is it, 36 mil socket? 27? 27? 36. 36. 30, okay, 36 mil socket to get the rear axles off the R33 for Wade so we can install the, the new shim diff for him. Road trip time! But uh, we don't get the front seat because uh, that's a certain someone else's spot. We get the uh, luxury limo of the back, Benjamin. Yeah, yeah, I was just saying, it's like easy to step into, there's huge amounts of room. And now, uh, <laughs> we have a Steve playing nav for us. What's his uh, favourite music he likes putting on? Oh, I'll be showing Gun Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> he literally just looks like a big puffy human sitting in the front there. <laughs> I just hope he doesn't slobber. <laughs> I'll keep my window up. <laughs> He seems very well behaved. <laughs> Loves his drives. <laughs> we have no idea what he's doing here. <laughs> hey Steve! 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 Alan! Alan! Steve! Steve! Alan! Steve! <laughs> What's that Steve? <laughs> uh, I think that's exhaust scrape. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's there for, right? Yeah. It's a drag block, it isn't an exhaust. It's a drag block. Yeah. Have you welded a piece of steel on it? <laughs> yeah, it's three mil. <laughs> yeah, okay, sweet. <laughs> cars yeah, the jumper cars. Some, some air tricks. Air tricks? <laughs> I don't like this I can't. I don't care New diff is in. Putting axles in now and oh, filling the diff up. Better than that, we'll fit on that one. Yeah, let's see. check that one on that one. We'll just feed it up the little dock. That's good because it was meant to. <laughs> Wade, what got you into cars? Uh, Fluid transfer. Not you. You be quiet. Actually, no. It, yeah, I'm my dad. So, mum and dad, fluid transfer. If, if, you, if you think about it that way. Uh, that was, that's disgusting. <laughs> Actually, my first motorsport experience was power boat. My family, my dad, and he was uh, two times Australian champion in his class. Of power boating? Uh, yep, power boating. Cool. Uh, uh, circuit racing. And uh, I got into junior power boats and I won three titles. So I. Uh, Is that what the trophies in... on the back wall are? Yeah. Over there? Yeah, they're from quite some time ago, but yeah. 
that's cool. Okay, so you somehow converted from power boating to drifting? Uh, it was probably more circuit racing f first, uh, car circuit racing. Yeah. Um, well, you said you, you started with the, you got the Sigma, which is the dirt color. Yeah, but uh, before that, way back in the day, was, um, yeah, go karting. Yeah. Wait, do you still go kart these days? Uh, I'm a little heavy these days, so uh, <laughs> my kart just doesn't seem to be as fast as it once was. All all the big boys can uh, uh, I relate to that. All right. New Lon have made these new squidgy diff bags, which makes it a lot easier to get them into the diff. Than yes, the that hard was a uh, especially when you containers. can dock to fluid transfer. Will you stop saying that? That was a successful <laughs> fluid transfer. <laughs> God. This is why I don't bring him out often. Yeah, keep him at home. Yeah, we're gonna keep him off camera. What happens when you spend all your time around cars? As is, everybody gives uh, a, a Luke Fink for not working on his, his own cars and giving me for it too, but oh, we do work on our cars, but you know, yeah, once you get a bit older and, and broken, it's hard to do stuff on your car, so you get help. Uh, uh, that's what mates are for. But I, I'm hearing you think. I, I know you work on your cars, mate. <laughs> Going off your collection and your your varying list of motorsporting and uh, racing and all that kind of stuff, what kind of uh, advice would you give someone looking to either get into a certain type of discipline or someone that wants to get into cars? You don't have to spend a lot to get on track. Like my first one here. I think you could probably even build that in your, in your shed for less than a thousand bucks. Advice wise, I'd say don't listen to the bull. Like everyone says you should have a, a 2JZ in your Skyline or a LS something in your Sylvia. If you've got a car that can drift or even you want to try it, Go to the track and do it. But don't wait to save up to get, you know, your weds on on, 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 on your yeah. drift car, which is a stupid idea, but <laughs> um, just do it. Because look, other people, I believe, I, I don't think I've met anyone, but I think people like football as well. <laughs> Weirdos. What the hell is football? You know, but I, I just give it a crack. Like, don't, uh, I worry, it, if your car's not like... That's where I learned about docking football. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna, That's I'm gonna a gag you in a minute. very interesting way to squeeze a bottle down there. Yeah. Um, that's putting your head into it. I'm just waiting for the... Mm. Oh yeah, just do it. Just have a crack. Like, beg, borrow, steal your mum's car. Go to Archie, go to QR and just have a skid. Uh, there's people there that can help you. If you ask help, uh, the drifting community, awesome bunch of people. Uh, the Speedway community, they're also awesome. They're a little individual, but it, m most people will, will help you if you ask. Massive, massive thanks to Wade. Thank yeah. you so much for allowing me to do a, do a feature on you and your cars. Anytime. It has been Anytime. a pleasure. Um, if you guys would like to check out more of Wade's stuff, do you have uh, Insta or uh, socials? I try to stay off them, so not really. Okay. Because I'd rather be doing motorsport than keyboard worrying about it. Okay. <laughs> Sick. If you're local, you might see him out about. And if you definitely see Steve hanging out the back of any of these cars, or sorry, out the front of any of these cars, then you know exactly who it is. So uh, don't be afraid to come say hi. Come out, give it a try, and I'll catch you guys in the next vlog. I hope you enjoyed the feature. Please like, comment, sub, all that kind of stuff. Later. Peace.